How does Apple make this crazy transition where as we're changing sections, the video is changing with it? Let me show you how you can recreate this silky smooth by using CSS scroll timelines. But first we need a layout to apply this effect to. I use the import from web feature and builder.io to reproduce the layout of this page pretty easily. Now the first key ingredient here is we need that video container to be positioned sticky. So as we scroll, it sticks in place, lets us continue to scroll, until we get to the end of this section and it goes past. So position sticky plus top one half can get us to have this stick right in the middle. Then within the video container, we have a bunch of video elements stacked up on top of each other with position absolute. Then we can animate the clip path of each video to slowly reveal the video beneath it. That's what gives us this really cool wipe effect. Here we're clipping 50%, 25%, 0%, etc. and onto the next one. Now the big task is to attach it to the scroll so as I scroll, this changes. We can do this with JavaScript event listeners, where we calculate the scroll position and the video position, and we dynamically generate the clip value, which can work great. But if you really scroll fast, you notice they can get a tiny pixel or two out of sync. And ideally, we want to use as little scroll listeners as possible, so the page never has a janky scrolling. That's where you can use CSS scroll and view timelines to animate that clip path with CSS so that it's buttery smooth, there's no jitter on scroll, and it's perfectly in sync no matter how fast I scroll. I love native CSS. Now, as you can see, there's a decent bit of code you need to get this effect exactly right. To make my life easier, I just went to builder.io and told it what I want. I described the animation I want, sometimes I provide visuals too, and the exact techniques I want to use, such as clip masks. You could also specify to do this with pure CSS with animation timeline. When working with AI, I like to work incrementally, give it the basics, then give it feedback until the adjustments are exactly right, which is what I did here, but that's the easy way. You could just go sign up to builder.io and prompt that now. Let me show you how this works in more detail. So for each of these sections, we need to give them each a unique view timeline name. I'm just calling them section one, two, three, etc. We then can take the video layer and binds the animation timeline of each one to the section timeline by name. For the container around all these, we need to provide the timeline scope and pass in those section names as well. Now we can use the at supports keyword to make sure we support view animation timelines. Currently, the main browser that doesn't support this is just Firefox. You could fall back to JavaScript event listeners for Firefox or do what I do, which is probably just put a video in each section in the non-fancy way. Now, for everyone who supports this, we could define our keyframe animation. We start the clip path at 0%, and at the end of the animation, we just animate to 100%. We name this animation Wipeout, we provide it here, and the important part is we provide an animation range to say we start at the entry point and end at the contain point. And we also need to dynamically calculate the inset. If we had no inset, then the scroll animation would go from the bottom of the page to the top of the page, which is not what we want. We want it to go from the start of the TV to the end of the TV. So we just need to calculate that as a percent. So instead of from 0% to 100%, we want to animate it from like 30% to 70%. So we listen to the resize event on the window, and we measure the top and bottom of that TV container and calculate the percent of the total page that is to start and end, and that rounds things out. Now you have a perfectly native and buttery smooth, really cool transition effect that you can repurpose in all kinds of awesome ways. You can use the same technique to do all kinds of other scroll effects like this and this, and make sure your pages are always super smooth and not janky from JavaScript based scroll effects. To grab the full code snippets I showed, as well as the prompts I used to recreate this the easy way in builder.io, go check out my latest blog post in the builder.io blog. Now go make some awesome scroll effects and show me what you create.